reality. Today at Reality, we are demonstrating the Pegasus TRK-100 from Leica Geosystems. In this video, we'll be going over the Pegasus TRK-100 in depth, taking a look at the most common options and settings. The Pegasus TRK-100 is Leica's latest engineering-grade, heavy-duty, ultimate mobile mapping solution. As opposed to your more common terrestrial scanners, the TRK-100 is designed to capture data while in motion, enabling you to scan large areas at high speeds. For railways, highways, coastlines, ports, and any other enormous work sites, the TRK-100 is the ultimate solution for all your measurement needs. The TRK system only requires one person to install and operate. There are three primary components to the TRK-100, the capture unit, the control unit, and the battery unit. There's also a rotating sled that allows you to easily mount the capture unit on the roof of your vehicle. There's also a number of cables plus various optional accessories that come separately. To begin, depending on the type of vehicle you're using, you'll probably have to install sturdy roof rack crossbars. When your crossbars are in place, securely fasten the rotating mount, also sometimes called a sled, to the top of your vehicle and ensure that nothing obstructs the sled's movement. When the sled is secure, release the rotation lock and turn the sled 90 degrees. This will allow you to safely and easily lift the TRK-100 into position on the sled. It should very simply snap into place. It might seem like a very simple mechanism, but the scanner is very secure. Turn the sled 90 degrees again and secure the rotation lock. If you wish, you can turn and lock the sled at a 30 degree angle to the left or right, depending on your scanning requirements. Next, if you're using the optional butterfly cameras, snap them into place and connect their cables to their proper ports on the scanner. Anchor to your vehicle any other accessories you plan to use, such as the optional additional GNSS antenna and DMI. Place the control unit and the battery unit inside your vehicle and securely connect them using the push connectors. Then crack the window and connect the control unit to the scanner. The cable has a twist lock mechanism on both ends that will prevent it from coming loose. Inside your vehicle, you may want to make sure that the control unit and battery are securely fastened in place as well, so that it will not shift around with the movement of the vehicle. Once everything is set up and securely fastened in place, operating the TRK is relatively simple. You can turn everything on using the power button on the control unit. Connect to the control unit to any available Wi-Fi signal that will be consistently available throughout your scanning session. You'll probably want to use the hotspot on your phone or iPad. Access Pegasus Field using the QR code or the IP address displayed on the control unit's LCD screen. Sign in using the username and password displayed on the LCD screen. The Pegasus Field user interface will work with any internet browser and will provide you with full control over your scanner's functionality. Create a new project in Pegasus Field and enter your project settings. Next, create a job within your project and select the job settings you want. Under Show Details, you can select whether or not you want to use RTK or real-time kinematics which you should always use when your wireless network is connected to the internet. With the RTK option selected, correctional adjustments will be applied to your data as you collect it, saving you a lot of post-processing time back at the office. When you're ready, hit the Start Alignment button. A countdown timer will begin 
during which time the vehicle must remain stationary. If the car moves, the countdown timer will automatically reset. When this is concluded, Pegasus Field will display a distance countdown meter and you can begin to drive. The movement of the vehicle will calibrate the scanner's inertial measurement unit. Point cloud data will not be collected during this process. It is recommended that you accelerate and decelerate a few times during the calibration, as well as take some sharp corners. After the distance countdown meter has reached zero, you can begin collecting scan data by hitting the red button that appears in the user interface. The data you collect and the path you're taking will begin to appear in Pegasus Field. If you entered a pre-programmed path during the setup process, it will also appear guiding you on your way. Deviating from your pre-programmed path will not negatively affect the data you collect. You can stop and start data collection however many times you like. With its state-of-the-art technology and redundant systems, you don't have to worry about the TRK-100 getting jostled about or losing its GNSS connectivity for short periods of time. With its GNSS antenna, inertial sensors and RTK data, the TRK-100 will remain calibrated and accurate even under the worst of conditions, even when there's bad visibility. When you're done scanning, hit Final Alignment. At this point, you will have to repeat the two steps from when you began driving the car around a preset distance, then remaining stationary for a while. When this final alignment process is complete, the scanner will remain on but will shut down its various sensors. If you want to start scanning again, you'll have to begin a new job and run the alignment process again. If you're done, shut down the system through Pegasus Field or hit the power button on the control unit or the scanner. After a few moments, the scanner and the control unit will turn off, and it's safe to disassemble the equipment and pack it away. Back at the office, you can easily transfer your data to your office computers by removing the solid-state drives from the control unit and connecting them to your computer using a USB cord. You can then post-process your scans using Pegasus Office. With the Pegasus TRK-100, you'll be able to capture vast amounts of data on immense job sites, such as roads, rail lines, and ports, extremely quickly and accurately. The TRK-100 is also the easiest to use mobile mapping system available to date, and is very economical. Check out the notes below for more details, and visit our website to keep up to date on everything Reality Capture.